Well, in this week's Northwoods Adventure, we visit the Big Whiff Wiffle Ball Tournament in Brainerd. There were plenty of swings and misses on Saturday, but the event was a big hit. Shane Lee has the story. The Big Whiff Tournament lived up to its name on Saturday as pitchers compiled a bounty of strikeouts. The batters came up empty-handed, but the event beneficiary did not. The tournament raised about $5,000 for the Miracle League. Our league is about giving every child a chance to play baseball. The Miracle League offers young people with disabilities the chance to play baseball. The league requires a special field to meet the needs of the athletes. The latest fundraising brought Brainerd very close to building its own miracle field. We can build a field. We can get started this fall. We're that far along the way. Kids of any age, they'd love to play ball, so this would allow anybody that wants to play to, to have that field available. Participant Tim Berger played on the Miracle Field in St. Cloud last year and admired the playing surface. And they're beautiful. They're synthetic materials so the the kids and the and the young adults with needs can get out there in their wheelchairs and compete. Eleven teams took the field in Brainerd Saturday. Each team played three games to earn a seed for a single elimination tournament. The Miracle League held wiffle ball tournaments at five different sites on Saturday. The winner from each site played in the state tournament on Sunday. The biggest challenge in today's tournament is the wind. It makes throwing strikes almost impossible. And once upon a time, I actually used to be a pretty good pitcher. With the breeze that we have right now, them balls, <laughs> they, you don't know where they're going to end up. Some of the contestants spent a little more effort on their costumes than the baseball. One memorable team was the 2-2 two -two Olds. Well, we're 2-2 two -two old. We're pretty old and not a tutus. The Brainerd City officials represented the home team under the name Blue Tee and the Beasts. The Blue Tees were the color and style of the shirts. And the Beasts are these uh, elected officials who can sometimes be very beastly. Whoa. Maybe not so beastly on the ball field, but winning was not the first goal for these teams. Even though one team eventually became the champion, the real winners are the kids with disabilities who will finally be able to play ball. Shane Lee. Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.